Adventures of Kraskarek. Welcome back to the Adventures of Kraskarek. It is again I, Kraskarek, as we continue our adventures in Atlas Modded. Now, today I'm going to teach you how to fight the Scorpion boss. Okay, I'm going to show you. Now, even though my game is modded, what I the only thing that's modded is I make it so the ships heal over time, I can repair the ships easy, and I have a shape-shifting potion. Okay? The, uh, I use the shape-shifting only for scouting and body recovery. I don't use it for the actual fights, um, so that we can show you how to legitimately do it. Now, I've, fought the, I've had to defeat the Scorpion boss multiple times now because of recording glitches that keep popping up. Hopefully it doesn't happen this time. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you where it is, um, where the uh, boss is, and more, and also importantly, you need to know where the cave is to turn in the artifact afterwards, and I'm going to show you that as well. You have two hours to turn it in before it vanishes, or else you have to fight the boss all over again. So let's take a look. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. Now... I'm sure everything's working. So the first... Alright. Yep. So, first step we're gonna do is we need to go scout out exactly where the boss is and the cave to turn in the artifact once you defeat the boss. That's the key. So I've done this several times already, but recording problems occur, so hopefully this time it'll be smooth. I've already done it, but I'm going to do it again and show you. First things first, I use my God-granted blessing, blessing of shape-shifting and go naked to explore and make sure I know exactly where things are at. Now I just need a good creature animal to be able to explore. A seagull would do. A simple... There's one. See if we can go shape shift into it. Think that's close enough. There you go. Excellent. Yep. Shape shifted into a seagull. Although shrinking mass would not be possible if shapeshifting was real. You'd have to brutally alter your your biomass. Oh, it would be horrible. You couldn't shrink your biomass. There's no way to do that. It's just physically impossible. Now let's see how... Okay, so if we go up this area, let's check up here. Funny part is, I'm not sure what side of the island I'm on, which can make a difference. Well, I mean, we're on the east side, but I mean, like, what's the easiest way to reach the uh, boss? I'll have to travel on foot once I go back and get my gear. Landing for a bit so I can rest. Cover my stamina. There we go. Alright, so let's fly. So this boss and, and is the Crystal Scorpion. And when you're on the island with the Crystal Scorpion, the only kind of animals you're going to run into typically are going to be bats in a cave or something and other invisible scorpions that re they're called gem scorpions i think that reveal themselves once you uh damage them so that's what the island's covered in so you got to be careful of that they'll knock you unconscious and finish you off now uh, what we gotta do here is find it's here in the city but there's a platform
Those are bats? Yeah, those are bats. We don't want those. The seagull actually flies faster, I think. Or it's a hallucination. Maybe the bat flies just fine. It's just... Um, he's bigger, so, or something. I'm not sure. Here, we come in here, we go left, maybe, and try up on this... This wall here, I think, is where it is. We're gonna take a look here. Because I know it's on one of these structures, but it's up here. Up! Uh, yep, there it is. See that, ladies and gents? That's the crystal scorpion, the boss of this island. That's what we're hunting. So, from where I came from, here on the east, I have to make my way into the city here, avoid the scorpions, and I can use grappling hooks and climbing hooks and climb the hell up here. And then I'm just going to perch here, use a rifle, and just keep picking at it. Which will take a while, but it'll be doing. It'll be done. Now, um, what I have to do now is think about... Um, I have to go find the special cave that you go to to turn in the artifact in order to get the gem added to your compass. Aha! Bingo! Here it is. Yeah, it's way down here in the southwest. Here's the object. See this thing? A giant device, and then the cave is right in there. So, ladies and gents, we now have the location of the cave. There you go. All right, time to suit up. Now, I climb up here. We still got 4,800 on the uh, sexton buff, so I'll be fine there. It's going to help me with finding where I need to go. So I'm going to use this location to give myself a bit of a, a glider head start. Yeah, I know it's a bit hot, but oh well. All right, so i got to go there. Ready? And, yep. So the reusable glider, it's the way the glider used to be. You can't really pull up. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Holy crap. I gotta outrun these guys. Okay. We should be close. In fact, there it is. I see the battlements. So we're gonna go this way. Avoid the, the gem spiders are gonna be around here, so... Make sure you don't get caught off guard. In fact, we could start just walking normally to replenish some stamina. And we're going to go ahead and get our climbing hooks ready. We good? Nothing going to ambush us? Good. Let's go. There you go. Come on. Oh. Oh, dizzy. Okay. Good, good. Now, let's go ahead and apply our glider. Yeah, the problem is wearing the glider makes you really slow, like, on land. But... Oh. Good. Now, we'll leave the glider on, so if I fall, I can use it to land safely. There. We made it, ladies and gents. And here it is. Okay, so here we go. We just take a rifle and plenty of ammo. Yeah. Let's go and reload. Luckily, it doesn't matter where you shoot them on their body, you'll still do max damage. Beautiful sunny day. You know what? Let's try it. We're going to try it. Let's see what this does. 68. 68. 68. 68. Well. Okay. 68 times 6. I actually might do more damage than the uh, rifle at the moment. 
but it's going to be expensive to fix. But I did get some extra supplies, so. Alright. Oh, there it goes. Now, you know what? Maybe for fun, I'll go ahead and risk it, because I'm just going to... I'll just have to repair this stuff afterwards. Let's go ahead and have fun with my, uh, my crossbow. So if that thing did 68, 66, so it does about the same damage, not bad. Alright, five more rounds, here we go. Excuse me? There it is. Alright, we've used all that up. All I have left is the slow rifle. Go. Almost got it. But the other thing is, once I get down there, I'm going to have to be careful. Unless it gives me the artifact right away, I'm going to have to be careful about looting it. Because before, you had to loot it to get the artifact. Oops. Come on, come on. Good. Come on, we got this. Yep. All right, and yeah. Okay. We almost got her. We almost got her. Luckily she's being so conveniently stationary. Come on. Probably like, I'm gonna say six more. Let's count them. Okay, and then four. All right. Five. Come on, come on. And then I gotta be careful of those other scorps. And six. Nope. Still one more, huh? Okay.
Got it. All right, now. Now what we gotta do is we're gonna run down there. All right, this isn't gonna help me much. And this is basically out of ammo, but. Oh wait, I got an idea. What we're gonna do is like maybe this. Uh, maybe this will work. Wait, hold on. First of all... Oh, the artifact just appears right in your inventory when you kill them. I guess I don't need to, uh, harvest it. But I can. There we go. Now... Alright, now we climb on out. I'll show you where the artifact goes. So... Where we're gonna go is straight down that way. So we'll go ahead and climb up here. Oh, we're a little thirsty? That's okay, I can solve that. There we go. Alright, ready? Let's make sure we're absolutely pointing the right direction. Alright, that way. Okay, let's do it! Woo! Alright, remember it was supposed to be over there. <coughs> Right in that little gully. There it is. Alright, we don't want to crash, but we do want to glide safely. We'll glide right into the cave. So we don't have to worry about anything. Oh, shit. No. Not what I wanted. No, no. Damn it. Ugh. Okay, that was unnecessary, but all right. Oh, uh, God! Uh, okay. All right, we'll take that off, because that hurt. Now. So here's the cave. See, normally what people do is they would create a, a zip line right across here to there. And this entire pit would be literally full. It's hard to even see the stone floor. And Undead would be spawning in here, giving you a hard time. It was absolutely ridiculous. This is the pathway to climb out of the pit, but you never could. You were dead. They knocked you unconscious and killed you. There was no way around. It was way too many enemies. It was unplayable. So they finally removed it, which is fantastic. So now you can come over here and see these sparkles? This is the Fountain of Youth, even though it doesn't look anything like a fountain, sadly. But when you're really old, that's when you can do it. Anyway, you come up here, you click this machine, and what it does, it gives you this. Where is it? See this? See the red, the pink gem? Red, reddish pink gem? That's the gem of the cursed scorpion. Put that in, and now you've accomplished it. And that's it. See you guys next time on the Adventures of Crasperin. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you again next time on the Adventures of Crash Correct.